There's so much information out there on how to secure viewings, but I don't see much about what to do on the viewings in order to get the deal. So on this video, I'm going to give you five top tips on how to do your rent to rent viewings to get more deals. Simon here, I've personally done over 50 rent to rent deals for myself and tons more with and for other people. And on this video, I'm going to break down exactly what I've learned in terms of what you need to be doing and how you need to be approaching your rent to rent viewing. Now, when I was planning this video, to be fair, there was tens of points and pieces of value I could give you, but I've decided to just pin it down to five key ones. Um, and I think it's going to give you massive, massive value. Firstly, and it might seem obvious, but you will not get deals without viewings. So you need to go out there and view as many properties as you can. Like seriously, you do not find rent to rent deals sat at home on right move, not speaking to anybody, not walking in any properties. So the first thing is view as many properties as you can. And I've kind of realized that most people do in between around 10 to 12 rent to rent viewings before they get their first deal. Some after four, uh, some it takes 20. But on average, after all the research I've done on all the clients I've worked with, it's normally in between 10 and 12. So if you've only done four viewings, and you've not got your deal yet, you need to do more. Number two is a thing to avoid, okay? I see so many of you out there trying to find the perfect deal on Rightmove before viewing it. So the second point is, don't just view properties that are perfect. That will help you to do number one. Because half of the time, it's not necessarily the particular property that we're viewing that we're interested in. It's the relationship. So we're viewing to build a relationship, whether that be through the agent or the landlord. Because even if this particular deal doesn't work, agents, landlords have other properties. They have other links. So I like to go there um, and actually, you know, have a, have a look, build rapport, and maybe even say, do you know what? This one doesn't work, but could we view some others? So try to avoid waiting for the perfect property to view and just get out there. Number three, okay, so you've arrived there. You know, you're, you've, you've arrived there, you're waiting for the agent or the landlord. It sounds stupid and simple, but you need to make sure that you're on time, and on time's five minutes early, and you need to make sure that you look presentable, okay? Because at the end of the day, if they're gonna give you a property, yeah, they're gonna to wanna to make sure that they can trust you, and first impressions are everything. And when you see a lot of traditional agents, you know, they're always smartly dressed, they'll have the little, you know, leather briefcase or whatever. So particularly at the beginning when I started, I made sure that I dressed to impress and that I had, you know, a bit of, you know, a folder or something with an example of the rent to rent agreement we use, maybe with some pictures, maybe we have a bit more information about what we do. So that is a really, really important thing to, to do. Just approach the viewing in a professional manner. Number four is build the rapport. That means, once again, it is about the property, but people do business with people they like. So you wanna be building the know, like, and trust factor, which means having a bit of a, you know, a laugh, getting to know them, finding out how long they've been doing this, if they're an agent, or how long they've had the property for, if they're a landlord, and just building that connection, okay? And two top tips with building rapport and connection, it's actually listening, okay? And showing that you understand and you can empathize. So a top tip here is, you know, when they say something, landlord might say, do you know what, to be honest with you, I'm just a little bit disappointed because the last tenants didn't look after the property. You should be listening. And a great tip is to actually repeat it back to them, right? So let me get this straight. What you're saying is that, you know, it's upset you that they've not looked after the property. And ideally you do want someone to take great care of it. And they will connect with you because they feel like you understand their problem. Number five, there's no sale without pain. So it's your job as a salesperson, because that's what this is, by the way, 
to find out what their pain points are and to see how you can solve them. The only way to do that is through asking the right questions. And most people don't ask enough questions and don't find out what's really going on. That is one of the biggest tips I can give you on viewings because you're only going to get one shot at this property, okay, to make sure that you find out the problem and then you position your offer in a way that's going to directly solve those problems. The amount of times I speak to people and I said, oh, well, you know, what's the mortgage? Don't know. Oh, well, does anybody else own it? Don't know. Oh, how long has the property been empty for? Uh, not sure. Unless you know all these things, you're not going to be able to identify the problem and therefore solve it. So ask as many questions as you can. Find out the whole picture. As per the last tip, repeat it back to them to clarify. Okay, And then when it comes time for you to make the offer, you're going to be in a great position. One final bonus tip is I always do this. When you're viewing tens and tens and tens of properties, you are going to forget so what I really recommend you doing is at the end of the viewing, once you've built rapport, once you've asked all the questions and you're probably just on your way walking out, just say, oh, one more thing. Do you mind if I do a quick video for my partner um, or, you know, for my records? And you literally go around and take a video, a slow video of the property, the carpets, the walls, you know, the kitchen cabinets, where the plug sockets are you know, a nice five minute video of the details because then when you come away, you're going to be better positioned to then calculate the refurb, look at what needs doing. Um, you're going to have a reference to present to the landlord if they need to contribute to it. So top, top tip. I do that every single time. So viewings, get out there, do as many as you can, build rapport, make sure that you fact find, take a video and make sure whatever you do that you are focusing on building the relationship not just that property hope you found this useful if you're brand new to the channel make sure you subscribe for more content like this and i'll see you in the next video